guys welcome to my first video of uh, java so in today's video i'm gonna be <coughs> teaching you uh, java um what is java and why do we use it so so java is a widely used object oriented programming language and software platform that runs on billions of devices the rules and syntax of java are based on the c and c plus plus languages why do we use java because it's easier to write to compile to debug and to learn how to create a project uh, and a class in java uh, in Eclipse, I mean. So, first of all, I'm gonna open Eclipse. Click on the file button. New. Java. Click on Java Project 2. Um, you can name your project, name whatever you want. Like, um, for example, I love Java. And then... And yeah, make, also make sure to unmark the create module info.java because <clears throat> the creating a module is kind of useless. Then click on the finish button. Yeah, and there you go. You just created a new project. Now, if you want to create a new class, click on the uh, on your project. Click on SRC click on new then class and then you can name it whatever you want and yeah click on uh, the public static main, main string arguments because you uh, because you need to mark it uh, else you if you don't uh, mark uh, the public static void mainstream arguments then you will have to write in for uh, yourself the the public static void mainstream arguments okay now click on the finish button and yeah uh, that is how you can create um, a project and a class okay now let's read go back to our Google slide. Okay, now, <clears throat> uh, now, what is print or print meaning in Java? Um, a print method in Java is used to display a text on the console. This text is passed as the parameter to this method in the form of string. Simply, it is used to display a text number, anything, or anything you want to print in the console. So, how to print? We use println method or system.out.println method to print a text or anything you want or a condition. Like, for example, I can show it to you on Eclipse. So, I'm going to open Eclipse. Now, you, you need to write system. And, yeah. Also, make sure that the S is capital, system.out.println. Uh, inside the parentheses, you can write a text, a text or anything you want. And yeah, also after the last parentheses, you, you need to put the um, semicolon, else the code won't work. And it will stay white uh, or it will stay white and like it will look ugly like look it's gonna stay white like this look it's just gonna stay white like this uh, if you don't put the semicolon but if you do put the semicolon um, it will not stay white and it will become green and the code will work and yeah, um, and yeah, if you are like, if you don't want to write all of that system dot out dot print line, and you just don't want to do that, it's too long and a waste of time. Then you can just type s y s o u t, then control space, and yeah, 
So this is just a shortcut of system dot out dot print line. So if uh, <coughs> so if you don't want to use it uh, the uh, the the long system dot out dot print line or write it then um, you can just type s y s o u t then press control space and it will automatically um, write for you system dot out dot print line okay now let's return back to our google slide okay um, now now, what is an object in Java? Well, basically, an object uh, oops, an object is a class instance that allows programmers to use variables and methods from inside the class. <clears throat> okay, so what does Java teach us? Well, basically, Java teaches new coders how to think like a programmer, working through processes with logic and testing out ideas. <clears throat> okay guys that uh, that was it for today's video so make sure to like share and subscribe um, yeah, if you like my video uh, don't forget to turn on the notification bell too and I will see you in the next episode bye